How's everybody doing today? I'm in a happy world, happy land, because I am actually gonna talk to you about what Mason likes to do on the weekends. He likes to climb into his Vexus DVX22. All you walleye guys, if you're listening, that's right, we've got a walleye one for you, and it's gonna start right now. Are you ready? Here we go, bam. All right, it's Mason's favorite boat. He picked it out out of a big selection of walleye boats. He was like, I, wait, let me do, I want that one. The way Mason does things. <laughs> um, so he picked out the Vexus DVX22, loves the boat, but what he didn't know is how much it's gonna cost. So now we're gonna break that down. Are you ready? Here we go. Starting price, 79,253, more than what he paid for his education. Boom, he's got himself a great walleye boat. The Vexus is coming in at 79,253. That's where it gets confusing. We added a motor, so we just chucked the 300 Merc on the back, Pro XS, poof, we put that on the back. We also got the kicker bracket, we got the battery isolator, we got the 99 putt putt PP motor, putt putt motor, PP, um, and we also got the Mercury flush motor controls dual, right over there. Uh, for some reason that added like 10 grand, like 10,000, so you get two motors and some stuff and you get for 10 grand, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. So, but that's what we did. We added about 10 grand to that stuff. So um, you got the Mercury 300, Pro XS, DTS, DTS. Um, we got the kicker bracket, we got the battery isolator, we got the 99, and we got the flush mounted control boxes in that package. So now we jumped it right from 79.2 all the way up to 89.4. 89.4 we went to. Uh, trolling motor, batteries. Here we go. You ready? Boom. Minn Kota, Altera, 112, I Link, MDI, putting it right up front. 72 inch, because you know I want to go deep, if you know what I mean. We're going 72 inches of deep. Um, fresh water, troll motor plug, replace the hard wire connection, so we put a plug in there just because if it breaks, we can take it off and put it off to the side, or if we just want to remove it because we don't want it on there today. Um, we uh, we went, this is where the battery thing kind of got crazy on Vexus's site. We were bobbing and weaving, doing what we need to do on the site, and um, basically what we went with is we went with lithium for troll motor. So we went with, I see it as 131 lithium, boom, right here, okay? And then we added two AGM, one for the cranking battery and one for your baby kicker. Um, so that's what we did on that. We, so I feel we got three batteries in there. Some people say we have five. Regardless of how it turns out, we priced it for a five bank charger thinking we went with 331 AG, or 331 lithiums and then added the two. So we priced it at five, bank charger, which there is a five bank Minn Kota charger that goes right inside your Vexus and you can plug it in and everybody's happy. So that's what we did. Uh, Council electronics, you ready? We went with duels. We're sticking to this dual thing. We're going bad. I mean, if we're going walleye fishing, we want to see stuff. So we're going duels everywhere. The tens at the council like normal. Um, so we got an MSI, MDI, council, Helix tens. Um, yeah, the second council back mount. All right, so we're mounting crap everywhere up there. Says it's possible, so we're gonna do it. Back up to troll motors, I forgot to tell you how much we added. I forgot that, didn't I? We're going back, you ready? Let's step back and back to the future. Uh, it was an extra 5,400 for what we did with the Minn Kota 112, the upgrade on the plug, the batteries, and the charger. So it was an extra 5,400 bucks. So now, well, just use your imagination. We were just at 89, we just added another 5,400. We've crested 90 grand and we just got into electronics. Um, we got Council Electronics at 2,900, well really 3,000, 2,997 for those two. Uh, Bow Electronics, we went with the 12s up front because we want to see what's going on. We're not, we don't want no cell phones in this boat. We want badass, big ass, giant, huge units. <laughs> units, if you know what I mean. So we went with the 12s, uh, MDIs up front, Gen 4s, both bracketed, everything done, another 4,200. So we got 4,200 in Bow Electronics. Uh, we went with the Victor package. It's our favorite package when it comes to Vexus. Vexus and Victor sounds like it's a great deal. I mean, it sounds like a name, Victor Vexus or Vexus is Victor or something. But that's why we went with it, we like it. Um, it, it gets you the airwave pedestals so you can thump in your seats. Um, you get the live well system, you get the trailer upgrades, which I, it includes pivoting trailer step and trailer brake package. And of course we need the brakes when we're towing the tugboat down the road. Um, we got the Coast Key Digital Ignition with keyless remote. So we've gone badass with keyless remote. 
uh, EVA foam pad on the center lid, and the rear hard or handrails. Long. Long? What's long? What's long about it? Just longer handles? Oh, just long, badass handles. I got you. All right, miscellaneous options. Miscellaneous options cost us another 5,700 bucks. 57 more hundred dollars on top of what we're doing. Are we building a house? Sounds like we're building a damn house here. Um, so we got all that stuff. We got a Hamby, we got a tilt steering wheel, we got a Mercury steering monitor gauge upgrade, Mercury system monitor upgrade. We went with the upgrade on that. Uh, the raw water wash down system so we can spray it down after we get out of salt water. We gotta have that because we're all fishing walleyes, deep water, you know what I mean? Um, we went with the uh, trim tabs with the, with, we went, we put trim tabs on this? It does? Oh, it's a factory. Trim tabs in on the package. All right, bad um, Bluetooth stereo. Chad, we got a Bluetooth stereo in this one. Yeah, what kind? Uh, Polk. Polk audio? Yeah, Polk audio. I like that. All right, good. Chad approves on the Polk, so we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, we got the uh, VX bucket seat upgrade for driver and passenger seats. So we upgraded to the VX on everything because we just wanted to pimped out. I'm sorry. My secretary just left. She's mad. She just quit. Um, bike seat pole, pro pole extra, retractable boarding ladder, and custom boat cover that says Vexus on the side. And on the other side, it says you're a badass. That's what it says. It's like laid out that way. It's really cool. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. It doesn't say that. It just says Vexus on it. Uh, the trailer options cost another $700. So we went with some upgrade on some trailer options. We got the trailer upgrade. Uh, we got bolt buckles, which are really cool. I don't, I don't know. Um, we got the pivot trailer step. We got 17 inch wheels with a spare. Starting price at uh, 79,000. Did a bunch of upgrades. Got it to where we're really professional and ready to rock and roll in the deep water. And we got a 300 on the back. So we're flying down across the lake. I'm not seeming to use the river anymore. We're just going across Big Lake. We're going across Superior, wide open with the Vexes. Um, and the grand total is, why is it red? It's a big number. When you crest the century mark, it goes red? Is that what happens? Okay. It's red. Um, Mason! Yeah? Your boat will cost you $112,757. He's shaking his head no. Why not? Did you hear all the stuff you get? Did you hear it? It's two pages of fun, Mason. I could have gone to school like six times. Uh, well, how much of your schooling have you used? Third of it. Okay, start over. Um, it's red, it's 112, it's 757, 112. Seven, it sounds like I'm talking about a damn trolling motor with a unit. I got the 112 with the 757 on it. No, that's your price. 112,757,000. ,000. But my problem is here, I honestly don't think that's a bad price because these boats are hundred grand. They're hundred thousand dollar boats. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I'm getting a 300. I've got the biggest damn troll motor you can buy. It's like the size of a Eiffel Tower. It's 72 inches of fun. Um, it's, it's got lithiums. You got a five bank charger. You got twin Helix 10s, twin 12s. You got a bunch of shit that I don't think you'll ever use, but it's on here. Plus your DTS. I, I think it's, and you got your 99 putt putt motor. So you got your putt putt and you got your boom boom. You got your right, I mean, it's like the 300's offspring. Maybe it's a turd. It's the 300 turd is what it is. It's the 99. What, cut? You could have put a 400 on it. I, yes, I could have put a 400 on it, but then we would have went immediately into the $125,000 range. We didn't want to do that. We just stuck with the 300 because I see a lot of them with 300's on them when they were here for some watt tournaments and other stuff. So I, I'm at the point right now, guys, where I'm gonna leave this up to you all, guys. You guys wanted me to do this, I did it. Um, you guys have to tell me if you think 112,757 is a good price on this boat. You got to tell me if you own this boat, maybe you got it cheaper, maybe you didn't get it cheaper, maybe you paid more, I don't know. We want you guys, the Walla guys, to start talking about this because um, you guys have been hounding me to do one of these and we chose this boat because there's a lot of, can you do vexes, can you do vexes, can you do vexes? So um, I did it. Um, I think the Ranger was 102, wasn't it or something? Bass boat, so I mean, 112 and there's a lot of there's a lot of equipment going on here uh i've never rode one i've never touched this boat i've never smelt it never did anything with it so i don't know and that's why i'm leaving it up to you guys you guys are uh, basically going to be able to get on here and start commenting about this boat um 
And I, I, I want to hear more. I want to know more about it. So I did this boat, and I want to know more. So you guys know about this boat? Boom, 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 boom. Comment, get on it, start talking about it. Tell me, if, tell me what you think. Tell me if this is the right boat, and I did it right because I felt like I did it right. Um, but like I said, there's some stuff here that I don't think I need to catch a walleye, but in the, in the scheme of things, if I'm gonna go walleye fishing and I'm gonna put on my button up t-shirt or my pullover that says I'm a bad ass on it, I wanna be looking like a bad ass, I'm gonna be in it. So I'm gonna run my Vexus, so that's what I'm thinking. Um, $112,000, you get yourself a brand new Vexus boat with your tandem axle, with brakes, and the kick ass swing out step to get in the damn thing because it's so big. You gotta have more than one step. It gotta be like an eight step ladder that goes up that thing to get up on top there. Chad ain't getting in that thing. Mason, he won't, he, Mason couldn't even look in it. I guarantee you, if it's on the ground, he'd be like looking up at it. It'd be like Andre the Giant, you know? It's just not, it's not suitable for him. You don't want this boat, Mason, it's not your boat. I know you picked it, I know you wanted it when you saw the picture of it online, but you're not, no, you're not getting this boat. No, just go back to work. Shut up, go, good. Yeah, so there it is, guys. There it is, 100 and, you know, fuck it. Let's just make it $113,000. Why not? I mean, taxes, titles, whatever, you'd probably be over 113. 113 grand, you get yourself a Vexus, uh, the DVX22. Comment, subscribe, click notification bell, witness the madness that Mason is slowly molding into saying, speed, money, no brakes. Uh-huh, he got it. I'm out, see ya.